First things first, I'ma say all the words inside my head I'm fired up and tired of the way that things have been, oh Hey Panthers, I'm Devon and Pablo with the Austin News. Austin will be showing an award winning movie. Make sure you go check it out on March 27th. Yes, the whole movie was good. Different parts just made you cry. I really, I really enjoyed the movie. Everybody was there at, at Austin coming together, bonding, and it was a really fun experience to watch a movie in school. It brought out how you need to appreciate um, everything you have before it's gone. Uh, Coco apparently is very popular. I hadn't seen it until that night. From home runs to tennis courts, soccer goals and relays, here's sports with the sports in season. Hey Panthers, welcome back to another week of sports news. This week softball beat Irvine 14-4 with a record of 4-10. Soccer beat Bowie 2-1 and lost to the Vire 1-2. Here's what some of the players had to say. We need to work on the communication because right there when they scored the goal on us, um, two of our players, um, I mean, they bumped into each other and that's when they got the ball and just scored on us. I feel we could have done better like, towards the teams. We, we didn't play that good like we played versus Irving. Versus Irving, we gave it our best. Versus Del Valle, we, we didn't go 100%. Honestly, yes, I'm going to miss all the guys playing with them, all the fans, the people, the, the environment. Their record is 11-3. to Next up, Track placed third in the 4x4, second in the 4x2. Ethan Villa placed third overall in 400. Anthony Hall placed second in long jump, and Carlos got third in discus throwing 146-6. Here's what Ethan Villa had to say. It felt good, you know, just I, all I have to do is uh, try to put us in the lead or give us a good, uh, good spacing between other teams so uh, our second leg can have a good run. I felt a lot of pressure, you know, because uh, there had been a lot of false starts that day, so I didn't want a false start or uh, uh, disqualify my team in any way. Uh, I felt really good, you know, we got a, a lot of good runners. Um, all four of them can, they can all run, so that's all we ask of them. Uh, it felt pretty good because it, there was a lot of kids there. And, to, to be able to get a medal, is, it, felt, it felt really nice. Baseball lost 8-22 with a record of 0-3. Lastly, tennis won their game against Bowie. Here's what some players had to say. I would probably change um, kind of getting ready in the beginning because I was pretty nervous and uh, I feel like I could change that and try and kind of loosen myself up a little bit before I start. I think I'm going to just practice a lot harder um, before school, after school, uh, you know, just put in all the practice I can get and work a lot harder than I did in the last match. What things I can improve of is my serves, my backhands, and volleys, uh, moving a lot more. I prefer doubles because in singles you'll have to move a lot and I don't move so that because it's one of the things I need to work on so I basically prefer doubles that's it for this week Panthers see you guys next week as many know Austin is a very historic building with so much characteristic it was made in the 1930s here's school history to tell you more hello we're here at the Austin High School to learn about its history and more things about it than you didn't know because there was only one other high school, and there were two high schools in the entire city. We had Isleta and we had El Paso High, and so there were uh, a lot of too many students going to El Paso High. And Austin, I understand, had been like a middle school, and there
there were so many students with the new buildings that had been going over here in Austin Heights across the what's now the freeway. Those was all houses, and then up in this area by Memorial, there was even more houses going up. So they made a bigger school for the students. So they built Austin Heights. Oh, so these are all the trophies and bits and pieces that students have won from the 30s on. You know, Austin has a, a long history of great students that have excelled in sports and academics and all kinds of endeavors over all the years. And we've got, we've got um, pictures and trophies, past kings and queens of prom and Austin Marine Girl and of course all speech and debate and plays and a little bit of everything. And we try to put a lot of them in the display cases, but they won't all fit. And we don't want it to just be about trophies. We wanted the display cases also to be about students. I love this school and I didn't even go to the school. But I, I love the building. I mean it's really amazing. Um, the first part was built in, in the 19 opened in the 1930s and that stops, you know how you go down the floor and the marble stops? And then the second wing that goes down to like roommate 183, that was built with um, federal money during the New Deal. So that was built in the 19, I think it was completed in 1945. And then the third wing was built in the 1950s and that was actually a junior high school. So we had 7th and 8th graders in there and that's really kind of cool. that it snows one day and it's sunny the other, here's weather with it passes weather. Hello Panthers, this week's weather has been bipolar and this is what students have to say. Uh, yes, I actually think it has because um, it was actually very, very cold and as you can like see now, it is very hot. I mean, there's more birds, there's more sun and yeah, yeah I think it's going to be a lot worse because right now it is like really hot you know, in the car and outside. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a, even harder, even hotter in uh, summer, yeah. Yeah, I have a lot of uh, allergies with, with this weather cause um, you know how they cut the grass and everything? No, I'm starting to get allergies. Yes, cause sometimes I bring like sweaters and in the afternoon it's really hot. I think it will be, it will be bad cause it affects a lot of people. Thanks for watching. Austin High School is welcoming our new principal, Ms. Spencer. Here are some of her thoughts on Austin High School. Hello, Panthers. This week for school happenings, we have our new principal, Ms. Ponce. We interviewed her and other students, and here's what they had to say. Um, the new, I think the addition will be, might be even better because, like, it's a new face, new thing, and she has like she might bring new ideas, new everything. Like everything might change for the good or for the bad, but. I think good changes. Bring up, we'll be more involved with cheerleading and stuff. Like a lot of stuff happened with cheer and stuff. So we got kicked out of our own practice gym to work to practice here, and I think that's unfair. So hopefully we can get moved to a better spot or back to our gym. And hopefully she helps us with that and just like helps out cheer. I am excited to see the change that she's going to bring, and hopefully things get better here at school. Um, more strict. Um, administration in regards to like students doing things and getting away with it. Well, yeah, I mean, I feel like admin is more onto kids in regards to like dress code and people wandering the halls. And I don't know the fact that someone coming from Isleta wanting to come to El Paso district is, says a lot. Because usually people leave from El Paso district to go to Isleta and so I, I feel like she really wants to bring a good change. I believe I bring passion. My passion is students, is education and being there for students and of course for teachers. My goal is to inspire students and inspire teachers to always do what's right for students and do the right thing. And I believe there's no other greater, greater thing in the world than being an educator. And I hope that I can spill that passion over to other students 
and to teachers and to the community. Some initiatives we will be looking at will be making sure that our school is safe altogether. Safety is a non-negotiable. We want to make sure that we're keeping our students safe from anyone that could harm them and also our teachers. We also want to look at uh, expanding our career program, working more with the community. We already work so much with Fort Bliss and a lot of the civic uh, services out there, but seeing what other areas we can work with the community. And again, just building on what's already here, making it a better place, because it's already a great place, just taking it to the next level. I look forward to meeting all the students. I look forward to all the student events, to doing well in our state assessments, to recognize and celebrate our teachers for the fine job they do here, to celebrate our students, graduation, all the things that come with working at a high school. And to remember that Austin High School, it is a place for our community, and we want everyone to come here, and we want it to be a pillar of the community. That's it for this week. See you next time.